Surf Monkey Coconut Tobacco Update Time. This is the Nisqually Grown Havana Tobacco. And as you can see, this plant has grown to a considerable size and it's time for replanting. This is about the two month mark and um, to be honest, this plant is actually probably overgrown for this pot. Um, and it would have been better if it was transplanted about say a week and a half ago, but I wanted to intentionally leave it in here so that I can show you. Uh, we've already repotted the other plants into the display balcony um, that we have here um, and we'll go ahead and show you that afterwards. We got a question from a YouTuber, HB Surfer, um, asking um, if we only water the plants from the bottom. And yes, that's true uh, for the beginning stages of the plant, um, you know, during the uh, when it's in the seedling starter trays, we water it from the bottom as well as these nursery pots. And I'll kind of show, give you a demonstration how we do that. We just take this watering can and, you know, fill the bottom cup up. Uh, and what happens is by capillary action is the water will get sucked down from the bottom of the pot through the drainage holes and up into the uh, tobacco plant. Um, uh, for later stages, when we're in the five gallon pot, we just water from the top. So what we're going to do now is uh, pinch off a little bit of these uh, yellow leaves at the very bottom, you know, just before transplanting so that when the plant is transplanted into the bigger pot, uh, the plant can concentrate its energy on the bigger and better leaves up here and also um, concentrate on creating, putting its energy into new uh, top growth rather than, you know, expending energy on these bottom ones. So all you have to do for these is just kind of pinch them off like that. You just pick them off kind of like pieces of celery. Here's the very first leaves that formed. Take those out. Um, I'm also going to take this one out too. Just pinch it and pull it. And that's it. So um, what I'm going to do is uh, show you the tobacco update on the balcony. And uh, we'll see these in the big pots. So here we are on the upper deck of our urban balcony and as you can see this Havana tobacco plant is doing just fine. Uh, what I did is a, it's a little bit windy out here so I supported this with three shish kebab skewers kind of in a tripod formation. It kind of supports the plant on all three sides and that's actually really sufficient for holding it straight and then it allows the plant um, room to grow up without being restrained by any twist ties or anything. Um, here we have another one. It looks like it's been a little ravaged by some wind. So again, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull these bottom leaves out so that it uh, doesn't waste its time trying to grow these bottom ones out more. As a, you can see, it's a little uh, dented there and <laughs> dented there. Um, eventually, what's going to happen is when these grow bigger, these bottom leaves will turn yellow first. And um, that's actually when you know when to harvest it. So what I'm going to do is we'll follow this video up again with another um, video on harvesting the leaves. And hopefully <laughs> these plants will still be around. It is a windy day today.